My name is Katie. Welcome to FEB Creates and I make stuff like this vlog. I haven't done this in a while. This is very awkward for me. I'm glad to be back. I know you missed me. I know you missed that May vlog. But here's the dealio. I got real busy. I'm not regular real busy like work got hectic, COVID, accelerated grad school class that was way too much reading for my liking. Um, I was not able to get the actual mental energy to stare at a screen all day to study and work and then go home and edit. That was just too much for my brain. So I said mental health first. We'll prioritize creating and getting what I need to get done and you know vlog can you know chill for a month I need a break from all the fans y'all are harassing me y'all are uh, a little too much sometimes but you know I love you so we'll put up with it it has been two months since I've done this kind of voiceover work and I'm feeling awkward but not as awkward as I felt when I signed up for this accelerated art history course and really dug myself a hole reading to have to having to read 50 pages a week. On top of that, I got COVID again and got a lot of brain fog, but not enough brain fog that makes me like, I can't do work. It was just enough brain fog where I felt incompetent. So I decided to collage because I have spent years collecting collage supplies. I have a whole cabinet full of it and yet I never do it because I'm intimidated. But honestly, why should I be? Look at this masterpiece I created. Look at it. It's a lake scene with some trees. It was so nice, so kind, so relaxing. So I did this thing where I'm putting photos up near and I forgot I have to record a face-to-face Thing. So anyway, I don't know which way to point. Here's some stuff I made. Here, here, um, here. It's been a weird month. I've taken time to create and that has really made me excited. Really made me feel grounded in myself, which is what we're looking for. I'm looking around my room and realizing how gross it looks right now. I've got the unfinished art project right there got an old speaker for unfinished art projects um yeah but it's really these past two months I've really been working on what do I want from my art and it's to have fun it's to draw what I want to draw and be able to draw what I want to draw which means putting in the work putting in the experiments and trying my best not to get discouraged when things don't turn out the way they that I want them to. Like I just spilled ink all over my desk. My hands are gross. I had to spend a half hour cleaning that when I wanted to edit vlogs, but now I have some cool new backgrounds to work with. I um wouldn't have had that before. So we're taking the good, we're taking the bad, we're taking the bad, turning it into the good, and trying new stuff out. Cause what else, what else are you gonna do with art? If you keep doing the same thing over and over again, I'm not hating, don't get me wrong. I love drawing the same thing over and over again. But I'm at this point where I'm trying to move out of that box. And I've got the energy now that I'm free for the summer. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, drink some water, y'all. Important. I got like 10 more seconds I need to film. 
I have started getting muscle strains from how much I'm crafting. My aunt has had to give me stretches to do that she gives to her arthritic patients. Stretch your hands, people. These are delicate tools. Treat them as such. Take care of your body and your body will take care of you. Take care of your tools and your tools will take care of you. Papa J. Also, always drink your water and carry chapstick. You are such a cutie a bikini. <laughs> you are a supermodel. Look at you go. Look at you go. Oh, <laughs> he has too many important things to worry about. I don't film it super often because it looks a lot like this and not my fave. I crochet and love fiber arts. I love working with my hands. That's something my grandma has instilled in me. I used to knit, now I crochet, and honestly, I'm back on the knitting train at the end of June. But no wrong way to make. Especially this. I don't know why this is so jumpy, but I'm kind of digging for this footage. I'm loving the light on this page. I'm loving the, like, green. I was working on drawing flowers based off this like book I got because I was like I'm gonna work my way through this flower book and then I promptly forgot about the flower book but luckily I make these vlogs so I am reminded that I own it I will say this until the day I die please make art that's it look at it. is this going to be hung up in the Louvre one day no is it my favorite piece of my sketchbook? Probably. I had so much fun making it. Look at that bright yellow underneath that red swirl. Ugh, oh, look at the textures from the the, the, the the brown and blue plate. And then boom, boom, she rips. But you know what? I don't give up. I laugh and I paint over it. And look at how cool she turned out. Sir, let me try and romanticize my life. Come on, get. Sir. You know the great thing about birthday months? One, you made it another trip around the sun. Woohoo! But two, you can spoil yourself. And you can buy yourself art supplies that you want because it's your birthday month and you want art supplies. So I have always been scared of not acrylic gouache, but the actual gouache. So I put it on my birthday list because if I hated it, then at least I didn't buy it. And then I got suckered in. It's so much fun, y'all. It's opaque watercolor. It's opaque. Like I can paint with white and yet somehow still blend it down. I just am in love so much so that I bought more with my own money and will probably buy more because it's so fun. I have a Cricut. Do I use it more than once a month? No. Am I glad I bought it? Yes, because it has allowed me to make stuff I wouldn't have made before. And isn't that what life is about? Making stuff you haven't made before? Uh, I used to get really nervous making big purchases for myself, but now I've just kind of gotten over it. I'm a big girl with a big girl job. I can make purchases and I can do stuff that makes me happy. There's a UPS heavy that comes through every morning around 4 a.m. UPS heavy? That's what they call them, heavy. Oh, I didn't know. That's what they call them, heavy. Yeah. No, the plane. Oh, the plane. The plane comes from Philadelphia every morning and goes to Manchester. Cool. Nice. Father-son moment. Who's that? Who's that? No. <laughs> I didn't know. Happy Father's Day. 
Show us Alicia's house. Okay. Yeah. Dad. Okay. Oh, wow. I know it's not perfect, but it's perfect. Well, it's actually not perfect because I ordered the same brand, but the pockets are different sizes. But what are you going to do? Well, because I feel Ah. Ooh, she cute. <laughs> to wrap up this vlog, before I get to the exit, I wanted to emphasize that creating is such an important part of my life and even during this stressful time, I still took time out of my day to create and I think that's how I made it through. I think that's how I'm making it through right now and it's what makes me happy about life so I that's what I'm gonna do that's the next stage for me how can I make creating what I do all the time and if anyone has any suggestions please let me know I am open to ideas and job offers anyway thanks bye didn't see you there how you doing did you enjoy the vlog I know I did it is as long as it is I don't know I'm filming this before I've edited it because I like to do that I like to have all the footage anyway that's what we've done that's where we're at I just realized now that the time I'm filming this it's a little crooked so you're welcome this is the high quality content you all come for and it's my best so we're working on it we're working on it we're living our best lives um happy almost summer maybe i don't know when it actually changes but go out there and make some art <laughs> you hear some art i made it, it might go right here it might not this might be mine and card. Ah.